We've got Joe Earnshaw here from Mindscape, and he's going to tell us a bit about a positive social media project that is super exciting and there's potentially opportunity for anyone within the community to, to collaborate, connect, be a part of the development of. Uh, it's pretty early, but it's not that early. It sounds like when I first heard about the project, Joe, I'm going to be honest, I was like, yeah, cool, big idea, like you're going to make Facebook, like, yeah, well, um, but it's never going to happen kind of thing. But uh, yeah. since actually having some conversations, I, I can see that you, you know, you've got, you've, you know, you're, uh, you're onto something and you've got some, you know, you've got some serious connections, you've got a big why and uh, that's a good foundation for, for a friendship and for a connection. And uh, yeah, I, I just would love to hear more about the, the project so people can uh, work out if they want to know more from you, Joe. Yeah, for sure. No, thank you for uh, that introduction, Keegan. I really appreciate it. So, um, I mean, essentially, Mindscape, we're trying to do two things. Uh, on one side of the equation, we're trying to help creators like Keegan earn a living and own their community. Because at the moment, a lot of guys are losing a lot to the platforms, for want of a better term, whether that's monetarily or whether that's the ownership of the community, the email addresses, the actual uh, availability to the people that uh, are there for you, essentially. Now, on the flip side for the user side of things, we are trying to essentially build a social where people can come to meet like-minded people, people on similar journeys, and ultimately achieve their goals. Um, creators, obviously, as you all know, like Keegan, provide content that really does help people. Um, and obviously, they've been there and they've done it. They're the experts. And there's no... Social proof is huge, right? On, on websites, on, on, on whatever it may be. And what better social proof to get than to learn directly from someone that has been there and done what you're trying to do. Um, now, what we're doing is... Our, our, essentially, our mission is to empower everyday people. Um, to do this, we're focusing on the three markets that impact everyday life most. So we're talking health and fitness, business and finance, and wellness and mental health. We'll work very closely with creators like Keegan, people that are experts in the industry, but predominantly people that actually care about helping people. At the end of the day, there's, there's plenty of socials out there. There's plenty of platforms out there that, that help people get paid or help people do X, Y, and Z. But there's not really a go-to place to, to help people achieve their goals and to, to build communities and, and really find like-minded people. And ultimately, we're just trying to facilitate that conversation. We're trying to help people create change in their own lives, but ultimately, in the long run, create change for, for good in the community as well. So, yeah, I think anyone listening to this, if they're a member of Uncommon Success or any interest in the stuff that I'm doing, they're, they're like, yeah, 100%, this is awesome. But how, how the hell would you do that? Like everyone would like to do this. Um, what What's different about you compared to anyone who thinks, I wish I, I wish I could create something like Facebook, but that actually helped people, you know, or that was focused on helping people? Yeah, for sure. Um, so, I mean, there's, a, there's obviously a whole bunch of things, but I mean, for me, I have a fairly unique perspective in the sense that I've essentially done what I'm trying to create and I'll, I'll delve into that a little bit more. So what I mean by that is, whether it's on the health and fitness side of things, whether it's on the business side of things, or, or even on the mental health side of things. I've, I've had my own problems over the years. I've had my own issues over the years. And I've used creators for well over a decade now to kind of help me overcome those issues, you know? Um, and I've always, I've, I've, I've had various different businesses. I've had various different ideas, but nothing that I've ever really felt that was my calling, if that makes sense, you know? Um, whereas when I kind of started developing the idea for this, I realized this is something I could easily work on for the rest of my life. At the end of the day, this is something that could potentially have a, a real positive impact on a, on a very big scale. Um, and so going back into a bit more of the detail, for instance, um, I, I've, I've been kind of up and down with weight my whole life. I really, really kind of did overcome that when I, when I sought the help of someone that is an expert in terms of fitness and nutrition and, and things like that. And like I said to you recently, Keegan, it's all, I have my own kind of base of knowledge within that industry, but how much quicker that, that kind of, I was able to achieve it was because of someone like you at that time, right? Now, for someone, let's say a single mum who's struggling financially and, and doesn't really know, can't, can't see the wood through the trees, right? We want to provide an actionable blueprint to help people out of those situations. We want to provide an actionable blueprint for, for anyone to get out of their situation, whatever that may be. Um, so for myself, for instance, when I was overweight, I paid for a program, spoke with the creator, kind of engaged with them regularly. And within kind of two months, I was essentially at my goal, right? Now, that's obviously a very small individual scale. 
But at the end of the day, everyone's fighting their own battle, right? Everyone has their own issue. Everyone has their own goal that they wish to achieve or their own issue they wish to overcome. Um, and essentially, we want to use people that have been there and done it to provide an actionable blueprint for everyday people to kind of uh, achieve those goals. Um, again, as someone that's been in those kind of situations, I know that when you're you're kind of in the thick of it, for want of a better term, sometimes it doesn't feel like you're able to achieve those things. Sometimes it feels like they're out of reach or, you know, you become disheartened or disassociated with what you're trying to do. If we can do what we're trying to do, which is obviously provide that blueprint, say, look, X amount of people have done what you're trying to do. They've walked this path. They've, they've taken this course or they've taken this path or whatever it may be. That will obviously bring people a lot closer to actually even trying to achieve their goals and, and, Ultimately, that that is obviously what it's about. If you're going to try to get somewhere, you know, you're going to be you're going to be uh, on the path of doing it. So pe people can find it. Like, I mean, you found these people on traditional platforms. You can find these people on traditional platforms. You can go to their website and see their testimonials, or you can look through the highlights on their stories. That stuff already exists, and it's already working. What you potentially good to or one of the features could be to have more of an Amazon like um, system of, of review where there's like a higher level of, of trust um, through the because that's the ambition of the platform that you can play a bigger role in like the curation of the results where on Instagram if you follow someone and you do their program you don't know if they actually follow up on things or you know there's less transparency with that. that. That could be one of the advantages of what you're talking about, right? Yeah, for sure. You're at, you're absolutely spot on. So, I mean, it's essentially, yeah, you're absolutely right. At the moment, you kind of use your own kind of senses to, to work out whether someone's kind of what you're looking for or not, right? You, you, you spend a bit of time on their profile or looking through their content or whatever it may be. Whereas we're trying to provide something where, well, well let's, let's take a hypothetical situation. Let's say you, Keegan, as an individual, weren't the, um, I don't know, weren't as in, uh, has as much integrity as you have, right? That sometimes doesn't come through to a user. It sometimes doesn't come through to a customer. And the amount of people, I'm sure you've come across your fair share in the industry, the amount of people that are, are kind of saying they'll do X and Y or preaching that they know everything they know, it's not always the case. And yeah, absolutely. The, the idea behind Mindscape is that the community itself will will obviously lead one another in order to, to kind of achieve their goals. So again, let's, let's say it's fitness and health. Someone like yourself is, is going to be very high in terms of the, uh, the feedback that you get because of what you provide, right? You, you, you've been there, you've done it, you know what you're doing. You teach other coaches to become coaches, right? You, you, you know what you're doing. Um, whereas I'm sure there are plenty of people out there that have paid for stuff where they didn't quite get their money's worth, you know, whether that's for a business side of things, fitness side of things, whatever it may be. We're trying to eliminate that in the sense that we'll help people find the best people for them. And the beauty of it being a social marketplace as opposed to just a marketplace, let's say you to me or something. So on the flip side of, of obviously what you're saying, it already exists on the social side. You can go to you to me and you can go to all these different types of uh, learning platforms whereby these courses are all there. And OK, you have some reviews underneath it, but a lot of those are curated by the platform and the creator themselves. What we're trying to do is provide a real, real feedback as opposed to something that can be generated by people with an interest in, in providing good feedback. We're really trying to provide something where the community itself will either upvote or downvote. We're not sure on these specifics yet. We're obviously going to work closely with both creators and users to find out the best way to do that. But ultimately, yes, our goal is to provide the best creators that will receive that will help users achieve the best results. Yeah. Yeah, that makes a ton of sense. And the, the other thing that like made me want to continue this conversation with you, Joe, was like sharing a bit more about your work history and some of the connections and the conversations you've already been able to go and get um, because yeah. anyone could have this idea. For sure. That's, that's a million miles away from actually execution. Like, you know, still quite a few miles, I guess, but, you know, tell us a bit more about like, yeah, their connections and, and sort of that journey to execution. For sure. Of course. Yeah. So, I mean, one of the, the biggest early helps my luckily or ironically, or however you want to phrase it, my best friend's uncle has been a senior engineer at Facebook for, for well over a decade. Um, early conversations were with him in terms of like, look, you're, you're in the trenches every day at Facebook. You see what users are doing. You see what people are kind of concentrating on, where they're spending their time, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and as soon as I brought the idea to him, he, uh, 
his eyes kind of lit up and, and it kind of, it was the, it was the reaction I was looking for, shall we say in that respect. So uh, from that point on, we worked quite closely together for a few months and uh, he really helped me get this into a position where I could take it to investors. I could take it to other engineers and I could take it to people like Keegan and, uh, and present it for what it's worth in, in different lights to, to, to people with different values, obviously. Um, and essentially what I'm trying to say there is that we are in a position now where we are having those conversations. We are, looking to get the investment and we are looking to obviously launch this very soon but in terms of the connections and how we're able to do that yes it's it's definitely been uh it's definitely been a journey as you just said keegan and obviously still a bit of a way to go but um but yeah it's definitely helped in, in that respect to have people like andrew the guy from facebook and the people he's put me in touch with um and then even having these conversations with people like yourself keegan you know it's uh everyone knows someone right and it's uh, it's always helpful to to have a chat and and to really get people kind of interested in this because I think the beauty of the project is that essentially, as I said, our mission is to empower everyday people. We're, we're trying to help people. And I think that comes through when we're talking, right? Like you said, Keegan, it's, it's all well and good having the idea and, and everything else, but it's actually about getting there and, and, and doing it. Um, and essentially that's the stage we're at now. Uh, we have, I, me and Keegan were speaking earlier, actually. We have, we have a few different ways we could go about it. I could continue paying to, to build the site myself, which I have been doing for the past six months. Um, I have a dev team and a friend that I used to work with at uh, Tottenham. I'm not sure if any of you guys are football fans, but I, uh, I helped sell the, the corporate packages at the new Tottenham Hotspur Stadium in London. Um, I have a few good connections from there in terms of both the investment side of things and the tech side of things. Uh, and yeah, we've been building that out so far ourselves. The second option is to crowdfund, get people like yourself who might potentially be interested or um, potentially even interested in being a creator on the site and obviously using you guys and, and working together to do it that way. Um, or the way that we're looking to do it at the moment is to work directly with investors because they will have the furthest reach in terms of engineers, in terms of team and, and everything like that. And we really do want to build this out. We don't want this to just be a platform that takes a year to get going and, and you know, we have a lot of back and forth and all the rest of it. We hit the ground running. We want to work directly with our users and our creators we want to put this in, in your image, essentially. Um, it's all well and good us having ideas on what we think will work and what we think will be great. But at the end of the day, we're building this for you guys. And, uh, and yeah, it's going to be your, your kind of input that, that has the most effect on, on what way we take it. Yeah. So from uh, summarizing, like Joe, from where it's at now, Mindscape, if people yep. are listening to this and thinking like, yeah, this sounds like a really important project. Uh, they want to get more involved. I've been speaking to Joe about like, let's, let's set up a notion. Let's make a space where we can see what's going on. Uh, if you would like to be involved with um, speaking to investors, uh, you know, using the, the slide deck presentation, uh, contributing of like ideas and concepts around how the platform could work from the creator perspective, from the user perspective, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter who you are. Like you've got a perspective on this and, and a potential skill set that could be, you know, valuable. If you if you know you've looked at a lot of different products on Instagram, and Facebook, and such, YouTube, then you're actually in a position of an expert as far as like a user goes for this product. So, um, yeah, Joe's uh, early on he's been a one man band. I know what it feels like to be a one man band, and I think you know he's a member of Uncom Uncommon Success uh, now. So, uh, yeah, this is the kind of opportunity that I want to open up to anybody within our community of like, hey, Joe's got something here. If you think this is really good. You know, go and speak to Joe, and if you end up, you know, that two years down the track, Joe's got a job for you, or or you end up with a couple of, you know, shares or an NFT or something, that uh, you earn that through adding value to to Mindscape, or maybe you just learn a ton about it and add a ton of value, and that helps you with your dream and the app that you're trying to develop or the vision that you have. Um, I think that fostering these connections and connecting good people to good people and um, and people who have who have a lot of a lot of, some people have time and they don't have money some people have money and they don't have time um, some people have ideas and they don't have either of them at the moment um, so the more we can link these things together the faster things can progress and so yeah that's really why why i want uncommon success uh, to to exist so yeah we've started the conversation here we'll add this to the notion and and we'll start to develop out the the text uh side of this and yeah maybe people already know someone is like joe you definitely need to speak to this person because they're working on xyz like let's just start the conversation and, and see how far we can take it uh i've also thrown open it to joe just to give you an idea of what we're doing with this community of like we can definitely do some reels for you joe like we've brought someone on who's doing reels 
Uh, we're building our social sales team. So potentially in the not too distant future, we could have our people reaching out to creators to say, hey, like, you know, do you, are you interested in learning more about this? Um, yeah. So the more skills people develop, we've got the Reels workshop actually this afternoon. If you get good at Reels, then you can become more of a member of that team and potentially end up working for, for Joe. Joe's going to need someone who does Reels for, this, for, for his creators. Um, if, you know, if you want to learn the sell by chat, Joe's going to need someone who can reach out to people and, and you know, bring them onto the, uh, onto the platform and such. So there's all sorts of opportunities, basically, the, the bottom line um, on, it, on, it, on every level. Also, like when, he, when Joe's saying Keegan within this presentation, if you're a creator, if you've got a brand, if you've got an online training program, then he's talking to you as well. Um, I know there are people here who are much smarter than me in different aspects of, of training and nutrition and things like that. So that's the opportunity that's being opened up for us. So yeah, thanks for, for sharing, Joe. Really appreciate your time today. No, of course. Honestly, uh, to be fair, I just wanted to uh, just wanted to add a couple of little, little bits before we finish. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Keegan's absolutely right. Whatever... I mean, we may be focusing on those three markets I mentioned, but essentially we want to facilitate those kind of conversations that happen on, on not the edge of society, but not definitely not in the middle of society, shall we say. Um, whether that, I mean, on the conversation we just had, we, we were talking about things like regenerative uh, agriculture and stuff like that. I mean, we're, we're looking to facilitate those conversations, you know. I mean, it, we want to optimise life. We want to help people optimise their lives. Um, and Keegan's absolutely right, whether, whether it's the the creator side of things that you can kind of help us with and come on board as creator or provide some kind of unique knowledge or insight into what we do. Great. That's absolutely, that's absolutely great. But also on the other side of things, as he said himself, um, any value provided to us from an early stage, we are going to, we're going to do our utmost to, to kind of reward you guys, whether that's, like Keegan said, the form of an NFT project, whether that's in tokens, whether that's in shares, Whatever it may be, at the end of the day, we're building this to empower everyday people and, and include, obviously, every one of you. Um, and, and that being said, that that is our ethos behind everything. So we're not trying to build this money grab and it's not a it's not a let's get rich or anything like that. I mean, OK, yeah, that's great. But the idea is to, to really help change. Uh, sorry, really help affect a change in the world, you know, and, and help people achieve their goals. So, yeah, any way that you feel you can uh, contribute or help us out, I'm, I'm more than interested in hearing it. And uh, hopefully we can we can obviously do the same and help you in return. Love it. Thanks, Joe. I love these conversations. And, yeah, if you've got a project like Joe's that you want to tell me about, then uh, let's let's have that conversation as well. And I'll t that's, that's what Uncommon Success is for, is let's make good projects happen, let's accelerate them, let's support each other, um, see what we can create. So thank you. thanks for... The chance to uh, to participate in your project, Joe. No, absolutely. And to be honest, I was just about to say the exact same thing. I think uncommon success is uh, is a brilliant, brilliant concept. And to be honest, when we first spoke, I don't think either of us realised how uh, how aligned we were and how similar our kind of thinking process was in terms of helping people. And and as you, I, I think you hit the nail on the head a minute ago, you said I think you said something along the lines of uh, helping good people meet good people. At the end of the day, that's that's what it's about, and that's what we're trying to do too. So. Yeah, the thanks is very much uh, returned as well. And I'm um, looking forward to seeing how Uncom, Uncom grows and, and being part of the community. Thanks, brother.